All right, looks like it's 450 meters this way. So I gotta assume, considering we're driving to an observation platform, we should... Oh, God, please don't tell me I got... Oh, fuck. No! I don't want to walk. How's it going, everybody? Dragast here, and welcome back to another episode of Giant Machines 2017. So today is a pretty eventful one. I'm pretty sure we're going to be launching a space shuttle into outer space today. So this is the, the big finale, if you will. Uh, right now we're doing final preparation, so the startup routine, the brief moment before the launch, is always the most stressful. So I guess we gotta prepare here, so let's see what we can do. And yeah, let's launch a rocket today, guys. It should be fun. Alright, is this the Demolition Shear? I thought this was the Thuggy Z. Why? I, I guess it's a different name now, or we're taking the Thuggy Z to the Demolition Shear, I'm assuming. So let's go over there. I'll uh, release handbrake. Yeah, that's probably a smart idea. Alright, how the fuck? Why am I so far away right now? Okay, so I gotta figure out how to get out of here. I'm assuming, okay, there's an exit right over here. And we got a little bit of a drive to get over to where we need to go. Alright, let's try and do some Tokyo Drift here. I don't know if I'm going the right way or not, but it's fun driving the Thuggy Z because you can do, like, these handbrake drift turns, and as you can see, totally kick ass with it by now. I, I mean, what, we're like eight episodes into this series and I use the Thuggy pretty much every episode? All right, we're making our way over, but there's no easy way to get over. We're going... I don't even know where we are right now. This thing's pretty impressive. I think this is actually the launch site. I'm assuming that's what this is. Okay, we got rubble everywhere here. This is this looks really messy for a NASA or a MASA launch, rather. You know what? We're going to take a shortcut here because I don't got time to wait. Let's just hope for the best. If we, if we lose the thuggy, it's not a big deal because, well, we're here anyways. All right, looks like we lost the thuggy. Turn this thing off and get out of it. I thought I was gonna go through the floor there. Once again, this is time though, so uh, we do have to rush a little bit. So I'm not gonna waste any time here. We're gonna get right over to this thing. Oh, this is the thing we used last episode that cut the pipes. What am I cutting right now and why? All right, I'm not gonna question it. I'm assuming we're gonna have to do a little bit of cutting right now. That's really what this machinery is for. So let's do it with caution. Okay, I don't even know what a cantilever is. Clearly, I'm not educated enough for this job. Oh, okay, so it's the bottom part. This is actually going to be kind of difficult because we can't... Well, this thing's made to go high, more or less, and not really meant to stay so low to the ground. At least I don't think so. So let me see how I can do this. First of all, obviously, we need to go into operator mode. Let's uh, bring this thing out, and I guess we're going to have to lower it this time and also rotate this at the same time. There we go. And now we just kind of drop it down to where we need it to go. This actually isn't that bad. All right, let's change to this camera so we can actually see what we're doing here. And I'm going to raise it up a bit, lower it, and I don't know if we'll be able to reach this. It's going to be close, but I think we got this. All right, snip. Is this going to work? There we go. Snipped one. Oh, God. This is actually kind of difficult. You know what? I'm just going to move the actual piece of machinery because it's easier than moving this damn arm. So there we go. Uh, put it into place and back to the other mode. There, snipped. <laughs> All right, next one. There we go. Snippy snips. And you know what? We probably should be able to reach this one. It's pretty far away, but... Oh, actually, I'm maxed out right now. This is as far as I can extend it. So, yes, we do need to move this thing up, unfortunately. And the final one on this side. There we go. We just got, like, four left. We're, we're, we're making pretty good time. We got 30 minutes to do... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We got 30 minutes to do everything that we need to do. I don't know how much I need to do, but I feel like I'm making good time here, at least. All right, and the final one, just pull this in. Don't screw up the final one. We somehow didn't break this yet. There we go. Done. So we got to get sand out of somewhere, I guess. All right, let's just get out of this thing because it's so damn slow. It's going to waste time. I kind of wish I still had my thuggy, but, uh, well, we already flipped that, unfortunately. So I guess we're walking. All right, let's just get down like this. That, that That's the real way to get down. And I'm assuming, yeah, I'm going to have to climb this mountain a little bit. And there's something we haven't seen in a long time, the beautiful hydraulic excavator. So I gotta move all of this sand? I basically gotta move a fucking mountain. All right, well, I have a big enough piece of machinery. We should be okay. Oh, fuck. Electrical circuit is not enabled. Oh, we, we have to play with this thing, don't we? Okay, so. All right, and I forgot with this piece of machinery, you have to set everything up. So first of all, let's lift up the stairs. That way they're not dragging on the ground. I don't know if you have to go all the way to... Yeah, I think you do because you need this light to turn green. So, it needs to be 100%. There we go. That light's green. 
Bring this thing down, bring this thing down, and we are good to go. We already got our battery, so that's good. All right, now this piece of machinery should hopefully be working. There we go. All right, so first of all, we're just going to bring our bucket all the way down. Let's lift this up a little bit. And we're just going to try and scoop the bottom if we can. So let's put this as low as possible. I, I feel like I should maybe make this a little closer to me. All right, so let's prepare our bucket here for our first swipe. I want this nice and close to the ground like that. That should be good. And then we're just going to... Uh, release the handbrake to move the machine. Goddamn handbrakes. I don't understand why something this big needs a handbrake. It's got fucking tank tracks. It's not going to go anywhere. All right, but let's get nice and close now. And we're just going to do a big swipe up and then hopefully get most of this dirt out of here. So we're already actually collecting dirt, so we can probably just keep doing that. There we go. And oh, shit. It's actually pushing me back. This is going to take a long time. Sand removed 48%. No, that does not look like 48%. But okay, I guess we'll drop the sand over here since there's no dump truck to dump it into. All right, open that bucket up, drop that sand. I have no sand in here. Okay, wow, I am not very good at this thing, yet somehow I've removed 48% and there's nothing in my bucket. All right, let's do some more of this. There we go. Now we are getting rid of quite a bit of this stuff. I love how it just like sucks away the wall. Like it's, it's so unrealistic, but it's still fun. All right, let's move this. Up. Oh, no, I don't want to move it sideways or I'm going to break it. Still says sand removed 48%, so I think we got to go and hit this other wall here, maybe. Uh, can I actually just get rid of this stuff in here? And is it going to be fine? I think it is, so I don't need to go to the side or anything. Okay, we're going to tighten this bucket up, drop it down, and turn it to the side there. And now we are going to extend it out. And there we go. Now we're hitting this wall down quite a bit. That should be a lot more. Let's, uh... Get rid of this out of the bucket here. Oh, God, I'm going to break something. All right, sometimes you can just drive forward and get a bunch of it as well. So let's try that out. There we go. Get that wall down. Oh, no. Nope. Okay, we're going to have to actually use it. All right, let's get nice and close for one final swipe on this side, hopefully, because we got most of the wall down, but we still got a little bit more to do. So let's try and hit this. There we go. We're knocking that wall down now. What are we at? 66%. We still got a ways to go, man. Oh, no, 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 no. What the fuck? What happened? Oh, god damn it. I felt like I was doing so good there. All right, reload last checkpoint. This one might take a while. Th this machine, for whatever reason, it looks so beastly, but it breaks so easily. All right, I'm going to try with a handbrake on, maybe. Oh, it's still going to push me back. It's just too damn powerful. I was hoping to get a lot of this wall down all at once, but it looks like we're going to have to take our time here and slowly scrape it down like I am right now. All right, there we go. This is how you do it. Just slightly scrape. All the way to almost the back. We'll pull it back in a little bit and do this other side as well. Oh, I'm getting really good with this thing. This is fun. And expand it out. There we go. Now we just have a really thin wall we have to knock down. And we should hopefully be able to do it here, guys. All right. A little bit closer. Now this should hopefully knock out the whole wall. That should be close enough. Let's put a, the parking brake back on. Go back into operator mode. And hit this thing. There we go. Come on. Get this wall down. Yes. That's what I like to see. Oh, shit. It's actually pulling me in. Okay. So we're a little tight here. Let me go over the wall, maybe. That might be a little easier for the machine. And pull back in. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I was a little hard there. But it's looking like it's working. All right. Let's open this up. Get rid of this shit. There we go. How much do we got? 70%. I feel like we're, we've done way more than 70% right now. But... There still is quite a bit to the low part of the ground that I might need to scoop up as well. And I'm a little worried about that. Oh, shit. I'm getting caught on the thing. All right. Let's try and get some of this low-hanging stuff because, oh, my God. Look at how much is there. I just picked up more than I've ever picked up, and we're only at 73%. So I guess some of this low stuff doesn't really matter. I'm actually going to drop this over here just in case it matters that we pull some of this out. Oh, are you kidding me? What the fuck did I hit? The ground? Oh my god, I'm getting so close to the end and breaking the fucking machinery every time. Alright, we're getting a hangover now, guys. I think I got a little bit more on this side, and then we should be... Holy sh oh shit. Okay, I'm hitting the ground quite hard here. We got a full thing here. Let me just get rid of this once again. I, I, I feel like if I get rid of it, it's way easier. Okay, let's just move this up a little bit. I think I got a little bit left on the other side as well. So just a few final scoops. We're at 92%. We might need to go all the way to 100. I don't know. Sometimes it lets me go a little early, though. So let's get rid of this. There we go, 94. There, yes. All right, so that must be the first mission completed. There we go. We got rid of the sand. 
Got rid of some scaffolding or whatever the hell that was, and let's go on to launch day, shall we? Oh my god, I'm so excited. Here we go. Do or die, partner. Do or die. Do. The last step requires us to transport the shuttle to the launch pad. Oh god, here we go again, guys. Do not drop the cargo. <sighs> I know this is going to be. I'm already seeing a little bit of an incline here. I'm hoping that's really it, though. Okay, so this actually shouldn't be as bad as last time. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Let's just take our time here, go really slow, and not drop a fucking space shuttle. Oh, actually, we do we even need to go up the hill? I think we just need to go... Well, something's gonna happen when we hit this square. If we only need to go this far, well, that's way easier. Oh, yeah, it just says reach the crossroads. So either something's going to happen or it's going to tell me something about this incline. Because we do have a little incline in the road coming up. I've dealt with this before, though. I should be okay. Well, it might take me a few tries, but at least we should be able to get it for sure. All right, and there we go. Reach the hill. Okay, so it just automatically updated. So now I gotta figure out... Let me get back to the controls here. So I'm gonna wanna raise the rear up. As we are going up the lift, I will watch my ground slope a little bit and try and go on par. Shuttle tilt, there we go. Oh, fuck. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, God. It's already fucking doing it. I, I moved it a, a millimeter and the fucking shuttle has fallen. Okay, well, this might be harder than I thought. <laughs> okay, well, I thought I could go ahead a little bit, but obviously I was wrong. So let's go really slow here. I gotta watch the shuttle tilt clearly. Ground slope, platform slope, gotta keep on par here, but it's it's not really changing, that's the thing. Okay, ground slope is going up, so we're gonna up the platform slope a little bit. Upped it a little bit too much, but this is a very small slope right now, so we should be okay. Shuttle tilt is, oh fuck, oh god, okay, I don't know which way it's tilting. Well, it's plus 19 degrees, so I'm assuming that means forward. And that would make sense because I put the platform quite high right now. Okay, shuttle tilt. Ooh. So the problem is moving forward moves the shuttle tilt as well. But we should be okay for ground tilt for a little while here. It's actually evening out again. So this ground is really fucking confusing. Let's uh, open up my controls here. I'm actually coasting backwards. We don't want to do that. We should not stop rolling forwards. Okay, ground slope is going up now, so we need to be on par with this thing, and this is where I need to watch it. So far, so good, though. We are keeping pretty damn stable here. Let's up this a little bit more. There we go. Oh, yeah, I've become a master of this now. It might take me a couple tries because this is ridiculously hard, but as you can see, you just got to keep the platform slope on par with the ground slope, and you should be okay for the most part. Oh, man, it's going up really fast. I'm having a hard time keeping up. But I don't want to stop going ahead, because if you stop, you're going to make the thing wiggle, and that's not a good thing. Okay, I think we've evened out in terms of the slope, so now it's just full throttle forward, and then drop it down once we reach the flat ground again. Okay, that felt good. I felt like I did it right that time. I'm feeling good about it. You can see the difference in size, though. Like, the back is way higher than the front. It doesn't look like much of a slope from the distance, but it obviously is. Pressure level is high. Let's fart that stuff out once again. And I think we're good here, guys. I don't want to jinx myself because I still got to drop the thing down. But I've already made it go up perfectly, so I got to do the same thing basically going down. All right. Maybe I don't even need to deal with the top and straightening it out because the square's right here. If we go to the middle of that, it should end this. Now, I might need to start evening it out a little bit, but I don't think I got to go all the way back down. So we'll find out here, though. Regardless, I got my finger on the trigger. I am ready to go once this thing starts evening out once again. And it's going to happen any second. Now, here we go. We're going back down. I'm going to go a little bit slower now and try and keep this thing going. Oh, yes. Oh, God. Wow, look how fast it is. This is ridiculous. Okay, we're tilting a little bit, but so far, we're okay. Just got to keep this on par. There we go. Wow, it's going down so quick, though. I'm worried I'm going to shake it a little bit too much here. Oh, shit. That went really close. <gasps> oh, God. I don't like it. Okay, let's just keep going forward. That was close. We had a pretty uh, heavy degree of angle there, and I thought I was going to lose my ship, but oh, we're almost there, guys. We almost did it. This game has been a little bit more difficult than expected at times, but we did it. We are back on flat ground. Everything's okay. Let's just not do anything too crazy right now and park this thing. And then we're going to space, ladies and gentlemen. And it better show me it. I'm going to be so mad if it's just like, yeah, that's cool. You're going to space now. The pressure level's high. Okay, we'll get rid of that. No big deal. All right, and park this 
Right. Well, is it not good? Uh-oh. Do we have to, like, perfectly align this? Oh, that might be an issue. It's still saying go forward, so... I don't think it's right, though. I think it's just because it's mis misaligned. Okay, so we gotta realign this thing. Oh, well, I'm trying to stabilize a fucking spaceship. Okay, we're just gonna go over this way a little bit. Oh, it's gonna be really picky, isn't it? I'm assuming I gotta get the platform on all of these pipes. And that's my issue. It feels like they're too spread apart, though. You would think they'd be a little bit... Oh, fuck, I wasn't looking at the shuttle tilt. And we were uh, tilting quite a bit there. But, is this better? Like, what the hell, man? Alright, one meter. That's closer. But still, it's not happy with it. Are you serious? Oh, oh no, 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 no! Oh, god damn it! I looked away from it for a quick second, and... Yes. Okay, well, another mission failed. That's what, like my 18th space shuttle that I've exploded already? You would think they would fire me, but no. I am I'm clearly an important person here. Oh, god, I gotta... I Please tell me the checkpoint... Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. I thought I was all the way down the road for a second. All right, so obviously we just got to line this up. Uh, what's the shuttle tilt right now? Okay, so we're back to the point where I have to bring this thing back down, which isn't too bad. I'm not going to complain about it too much. I am a little worried, though. All right, I'm going full throttle this time, and it seems to be working. So I just got to stabilize this as we go. It's hard to see this whole platform to know exactly where I am. But as long as I keep... The speed on, I'm not going to topple this thing over, which is the important part. The stopping and going is what makes it fall over. So obviously, I would love to keep this thing just moving all the time, and we should be able to line this up hopefully perfectly. That's feeling a lot better this time. I'm not certain that it's perfect, but let's slow down a little bit. There we go. Okay, slow down. Don't tilt it. Let's just back up a little bit. I know it's in line now. I'm happy about it. Everything's fine. There we go. Zero meters. Perfect. And ready to go. Okay, so this is the fun part. This is where we actually... Oh, is it gonna... Oh, I don't... I wanted to do it. I wanted to take the thing away. Oh, okay. So I am actually doing it. I thought we were gonna watch from, you know, a distance. So I guess I do have to move it now. Now, that's going to be... Am I supposed to lower it more than this? All right, let's just lower this as much as possible. I think it that, that's as low as it can go, so hopefully it's not stuck. Uh, release the handbrake, the moving machine. Who puts on the handbrake right now? Come on, guys. Okay, so I don't got much room, but we are making our way out. Perfect. And now I don't have to play a game of Jenga. I can just drive this thing back, and we should be good to go. Look at that. I did that, guys. I placed that thing there. It feels pretty good. I got to be honest. I'm excited to see this thing launch. Oh, look at it in the distance. It's ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. This is th this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Hopefully it's not, you know, anticlimactic. I'm sure it's going to be fucking epic. You guys know it. All right, so back to Mr. Thuggy, and it uh, looks like the one I actually flipped, so maybe someone reflipped it for me, so thank you. I appreciate that. I guess I can't get in on that side. There we go. Where's the observation platform? I don't even know. All right, it looks like it's 450 meters this way. So I got to assume, considering we're driving to an observation platform, we should... Oh, God, please don't tell me I got... Oh, fuck. No! I don't want to walk. All right, I guess we're walking. It feels like Thuggy doesn't really like me anymore. I mean, we went down a road and got stuck already. But it's only 400 meters away. It's not the end of the world. I'm just going to go on a little walk through this, this uh, field here. Can I, why can I not, I can't even jump over a fucking curb. What is wrong with me? All right, Mr. Space Shuttle, I'll see you in Uranus, buddy. And the observation point is in a tower, so we should get a good view of it all. You can't really, oh yeah, there it is right there. You can see it pretty good from here as well, so this should be uh, a nice view. This does not look like a safe observation tower. It looks like just a water well, and it probably is that. Okay, well, you know what? I've done a lot of dangerous things in this game already. I'm not surprised that I'm standing on a water well while a spaceship, you know, launches in front of me. All right, so this is out of my hands, guys. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? You can't even make a little 3D rocket. We're watching a video. We're watching a fucking video. All right, well, here we go, guys. This is what we waited for. <laughs> we're going into outer space. I mean, at least it looks accurate to what where we were. It looks actually very similar. So, success, guys. There we go into space. Man, I wonder what Giant Machines 2018 is going to be about. Mars machines, maybe? Who knows? But uh, this is actually kind of cool. You know what? I didn't expect the video. I expected a little 3D design. 
But, you know what? Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Alright guys, well that was Giant Machines 2017. I hope you had a good time playing with this with me, checking out some of the most amazing and crazy machines that this world has to offer. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this series. Thanks for hanging out with me, thanks for watching and liking, and yeah, if you guys want to see some more weird simulator games like this, feel free to say something in the comments below. Hell, you can give me suggestions on which ones you would like to see, and maybe I'll play them. So thanks for watching guys, and thank me for playing, and I will see you in the next one.